been a wonderful morning here, Ian, and this street elite is a fantastic opportunity for all for this space to be used for kids to play a lot of sport. Ah, oh, fantastic. I mean, like, I've watched kids here have amazing fun. A lot of credit for the guys who are running it as well. They've, they were absolutely amazing. Uh, gave me a lot of enthusiasm, the kids, the people running it. Uh, I thought they were amazing. Obviously, initiatives, Barclays, um, the whole thing, you know, Street 20, um, Lord's Tavern. It's all amazing, honestly. Hopefully, I've got all the promos in there. Um, but, you know, all I'll say is for a 41 year old, I got a sweat on because it gave me enthusiasm as well. So, if it didn't, the kids. Well, it's about role models and giving young leaders a chance to, and of course, you're having a bit of a bowl there as well. It's still, it's still coming out okay, isn't it? Well, yeah, you know, I rolled it over occasionally. Um, you might have noticed I did bowl at a girl just in case, but she did whack me for four as well, so brought me back down to Still a right. competitive edge, though, isn't it? I've got a competitive edge, though, but I think you need that in coaching. If you haven't got that in coaching, you're, you're going to die very quickly. And these sort of spaces, there's only a mile and a half from Surrey's ground, of course, you know, to bring people into the sport, and who knows, there may be some stars of the cricket future. Yeah, amazing. But I mean, you can see they've got a lot of skills, a lot of enthusiasm. But more importantly, they enjoy playing sport. You know, that's. Uh, I think if I think back to my days, we had very limited green space as well where I was from, and we used to kick tennis balls around, throw tennis balls, kick balls. There was never. We used liver balls, and it all just it all came off. Then the bladder was coming out. Not quite the pig's bladder. We weren't as old as Tudor times, but uh, you know, this is an amazing space. Obviously, it's quite a nice area, this one, but a bit nicer than mine. But you know, they loved it. You can see the kids went away, and great initiative. We mentioned there you're rolling your arm over on a personal note, uh, how things are going at the moment? Because um, you're on the coaching side. Right? I'm on the coach side, I have to bowl too many overs because I try and keep the bowlers rested. Um, yeah, I, I was trying to say to somebody else, so we, we're sort of 25 games in, 112, only lost four, uh, six games all year, so we only lost four. So we're, we're right at the crossroads, so if we continue that way and uh, say so we just do slightly better, very hopeful for the second half. Fantastic. Well, we were talking earlier to Gareth and mentioning about on the international scene as well. I'm sure you keep an eye on how KP's getting on and looks like he's really coming back to form now. Uh, he, looks, he was never out of form, really. I, there was a couple of little technical things, but he was never out of form. Uh, in sport, it's a fine line. You tread it all the time. Uh, he's brilliant. You know, for me, he's always involved, but for me, I'm so glad that Joe Dermack's involved. First Surrey Academy graduate to get picked for England. So it is also somebody I've had a lot to do with over the last couple of years. And for me, you know, I couldn't be prouder if I wasn't his dad. Well, listen, just going forward, one last thing, of course, India are now touring and you did bowl to Sachin once. I understand you got him, but he'd already got 160. I think I've caught him bowling, but I think it went about, I think it touched the cloud on its way down. Um, no, I'm really excited about the series. I hope everybody else is. Um, Sachin, hopefully, is at some stage, mother, you know, Time's got to start catching up with him at some stage, but uh, he's number one batter in the world. I, I love watching him bat, but I don't mind Tremlett nicking him off a few times and uh, England win. And of course, just mentioned there, Chris Tremlett also now, he really has grown up since he moved from Hampshire to Surrey and, and he's bowling flatter. He really is going to be a demon for England in years to come. I don't know how much more he can grow up. Uh, he's, he's huge. <laughs> Six foot eight. No, you know, I, hopefully he does recognise. You know, obviously he was a little bit in nowhere before he came to us guys. So. Uh, he's a great man. Uh, I think he came back down to earth in 2020 last night, four over to 54. So uh, he knows it isn't all that easy, but you know he's he's doing great. I and mean, he'll be. It won't surprise me if he's number one bowler in the world by the end of the year. Okay, listen, just two things to finish on. You've been involved a lot of cricket already in, in your career on a playing front. If you were to think of one game that stood out, you thought, what an amazing game of cricket. Anything that springs to mind? For me, well, I played in or was involved. That you've involved involved in. Um, I suppose. Any game you win, I don't know, I, I think possibly my first trophy I ever won, which was amazing. I, Test debut didn't win, so not amazing, great working, but first trophy I was involved with won, we won the Benson Hedges back in 97, and that was the start of about 10 trophies in six years, so that was probably the most special one. And if you were to hang your hat on one bowling performance, that you'd say, that was me, and it really, really was my best, today. Oh, <laughs> today. I don't know, I look. I enjoyed playing cricket for 21 years. Um, I had ups and downs. Did I enjoy it? Like, if I say last time I bowled in a game, I got a wicket with my last ball in first class cricket. Anyway, six of to win a game for Warwickshire to get promoted. That's only as far. I get Alzheimer's, so I can only think about that far. So <laughs> they'd probably be that. But listen, last thing then, looking to the future, Adil Rashid, he's a name that's been sort of in the news and out of the news again. As, as a fellow leg spinner, you must be hoping that he managed to get another yeah, chance. I, I, I don't know. I haven't seen him bowl recently. I, I, Slightly worried for him at the moment. I don't know if he's a little bit lost or not. Um, I, I, it's difficult to know. I haven't seen much of him recently. It would be great for the game if we did get a few leggies coming. And this guy, Borthwick, also at um, Durham's quite a good bowler. Um, I, I think as soon as we get away from this 
massive need to get a leg spinner that must play for England, you know, the better. And then naturally, maybe they'll be left to learn the game. He's only still young and he's got a great record for, I think it's like 22. So it'd be nice if he develops over the next few years and say age of 25 is playing for England regular when Swan's finally retired. Finally retired. Well, listen, thanks very much. And uh, listen, good luck with all the rest of the cricket this year. Cheers. Thanks. Okay.